And for some, spending weeks at home, well, that sounds like a dream. For others who are home alone, it can be especially hard. So I talked with Dr. Brad Schwal from the Center for Integrative Counseling to get his take on how to cope with the difficulties of isolation and where to turn for those who might need help. Why is it so difficult for us to spend so much time alone apart from other people? We definitely are wired for companionship and wired for community. That's one of the greatest needs uh, that we have. What are some folks who are by themselves, have been kind of cut off from their community, whatever that may be, what are they experiencing? People have experienced isolation, loneliness, uh, the, again, the fatigue of even if they are interacting, it being virtual, which is less satisfying than being in person. So where do you turn? How do you combat these feelings you might be experiencing? Validating and recognizing it's okay to be upset or overwhelmed or sad. L look to past friendships that you would like to check in on. If you have older family members, get them used to FaceTime. Think about um, areas of interaction outside of what you normally do. Also looking at appropriate ways to be socially distant. We're having to be physically distant but it doesn't mean that we can't have that social interactions. I don't want to be completely negative. There are positives to that extended time alone as well. What are some of those? There, there are activities like journaling, reading, having a time of, of a devotional time. There are some things that we can build into our lives uh, when we're not as busy. Um, exercise, getting outside. Even though we're alone, we can develop ways to, to cope and also build habits that will be good even after all of this. For people in need of mental health resources, maybe now more than ever, where should they turn? TheCenterCounseling.org is, is our website, and we have shifted to all telecounseling right now. It's so important to talk about mental health at all times especially now. For someone who's looking for a little bit of encouragement right now, what would you tell them? Life is a, a process and life is full of phases and stages that may be difficult, but in the end, we can be resilient and we can look back on what we've learned and then also celebrate the good things about where we are at that time. I wanted to chat with Tashara about yeah. this because you've been open about your experience and Dr. Schwal underscored that, hey, listen, if you are aware of it, that's the first step. Yeah. And then it's also figuring out ways to combat it. And for him, he talked about, hey, you can social distance mm -hmm. with someone where you go and you maintain your distance, you have a conversation, you're in person. That's super important. And again, not just isolating yourself is very, very important. I've been having God knows how many uh, Zoom calls, but also I like that video that you use of that girl out there running by herself because that's yeah. something I've been doing too, just getting out on, on the trails or walking or whatever the case may be, just something to get out of the house by myself. Big help. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks to Sharas.